another video. On this video, we will try to program force sensor from company launch. They are the new generation. We will use the ITPMS. This is the blessed programmer for TPMS sensor from company launch. It should work with this one. I do have another video explaining you about these sensors and what mistake I've done in the past. The ITPMS sensor need a software to run. It's not necessary to have launch, XDAG, ProDAG or all of this stuff. It have also the own software. You can also download it from the uh, internet. On the website of this company, the ITPMS should be able to work with uh, that app. I never tried. You can download from the internet and let me to know if these things work or not. I have the DBS car connected. I use this adapter, it's quite good. I do recommend it. It's much easier for you to connect with different stuff. Software used today is ProDag, or I didn't know if I mentioned, but I will mention now. I power on the programmer, and now let's go to connect with the tablet. It should search automatically. If it doesn't search, you have a switch device, and you press there if you use more than one, like let's say you have also a second one because always you should switch between them. We go to Europe, we have Maserati. It's there because last time when I tried to program, as I said, I tried to program with this one and it doesn't work. Let's see now if we have a change or not. This is our car. We go on programming and we go on auto. We should take the sensor away from the programmer. Because the software have a database of the sensors, he will create automatically ID for you. Because you have the database inside, let's put this one here and press on programming. You notice he will start programming procedure. You also can hear noise, it's like your phone when he vibrate. It is not so fast comparing with other programmer, but it's okay. You can live with that. Okay, one is done. You take it from here. You should put it back but before to put it back uh, let's make something different to know exactly which side it is it was from left and now we take the next one and in this way you cannot make a mistake programming the sensors let's put it again here And this is the procedure, one after each other. Just pay attention. Also, if you make a mistake and you don't realize, you don't put it in the order, you can relearn the sensor after that, it's not a big deal. This is front right. Okay, this is also done. Let's put it back. How these things work, I will explain to you. Let's say the company launch to be able to have this uh, database inside. They got four or eight sensors, original one, and they read the ID. Reading the ID of the original one, they put it inside in the database. And when you go on auto, actually you will allocate always and always the same number. Okay. Also, if I will try now to program on another Maserati, 
I'm sure they will have inside maybe 8 or let's say 12 different IDs and that's it and always they will use the same ID. Okay, this one is also done. Let's put it back and take the last one. This one take longer. Let's try to change the position a little bit. I had the experience also with uh, launch and also with author. When I try to program a sensor, it doesn't work. It's not the first time if this will happen to fail on the sensor. And this is exactly what it happens. I still hear the noise, but you see, it gives me the fall now and I can repeat this procedure. The program itself tell you to put it 5 or 10 centimeters away from the antenna but all is put there and you saw it also with another tree it was no problem but just change the position it depends how it reads comparing uh, with another programmers and i will show you once with uh, two or three different programmers for tpms how another one they work i have a video and you should look on that video comparing with the oldest one this is more stable more high quality i believe I mentioned again on this video, this antenna is like a toy, it's, it's too fragile, in my opinion, it's plastic, but you should be careful. Now we are done with the programming, you can mount these sensors on the tires, and after that you go and make the learning procedure, that the car knows exactly which sensor to which side it is uh, installed, and that's it, it's so easy. In many cases you must drive the car for few kilometers to adapt himself but depends from car to the car i had uh, for example a land rover uh, trying to program the tpms sensor not uh, launch uh, with um, hotel and on that case the programmer is not able to learn the sensors and program the sensor because he requests to have pressure he requests to see at least two bars on the sensor then this procedure is not similar for all the cars okay you should pay attention and be careful on what you are trying to do. Let's put also this one back. And don't forget to name it. Anyway, you cannot make mistake because it's the last one. And it's the rear left. This was a short video showing you how you can program all these sensors. It's quite simple. Next time you can do it for yourself. Now you know how you can program the sensors with TS gun or ITPMS. You don't need to have the programmer connected to the car. You can program the sensor. And you need the car after that to learn the sensors, but to be able to program the sensors, this is the procedure. If you want to help a friend or if you want to make this service, you can say to your customer, send the sensors, I will program them and then you can fit it in the car. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope it was useful. This is how you can use the ITS gun with the software. As I said, you can also download from the launch website. You can also install it in your smartphone. You don't need uh, to have a uh, software from launch DAGs on ProDAG, XDAG and so far it also able this programmer to work alone. I will tell you thank you for watching and see us to next video. Bye bye.